Welcome. Thank you for joining me for this presentation of the online desktop system that I've been working on. It is designed for an individual who is working with a lot of online resources and is meant to be a snapshot of uh, what that person is working with at any given time, meaning both the collection of the resources that that person is using, as well as the people that he's working with, and the interactions between those people. Um, let's go on and log in. Here I am in a web browser, Firefox, with a address bar, and this is the login page. Very scarce right now. Let's log in with my own login name and it loads here we are as I said very scarce this area will probably be filled with news or little modules of whatever the user chooses to put there however I would like to focus on this area for right now which is a collection of the resources you're using at any given time for example I will have in here a few documents, videos, etc. So if we click on the sample document, for example, we have it load with text that happens to be sample text in this case. If we go ahead and create a new document by right clicking and going to create a document, we get to name it test doc. If you caught that this test doc was created right here in the bottom left corner when we hit enter. And if we go ahead and right click on that, we get up a menu where we can choose edit, for example, among rename, view, history, print, and then archive and discard. Well, let's edit it. This loads a text editor that hopefully is familiar to most people. It is uh, very much like a word editor you can write in here um, this text is just written. Uh, let's try to format that text. Let's make it bold. It has some italic, underlined, and so on with different fonts. font sizes and colors among many other things. You can also put images, videos and other objects in here. However, you never really work with objects on your own. You always have people that you write documents with and right above my resources we have a collection of my coworkers Right now it happens to be only system admin, who is the only other person on this system right now. Well, let's go ahead and share the document we just wrote with this person by simply dragging and dropping it like that, and it has not been shared with that person, and we will see in a moment what that looks like. Uh, just to familiar, familiarize ourselves a little bit with the view, we have other things like videos. If we click on that, we will actually load a video which we can play streaming from YouTube. In real workspaces, doc I'll turn that volume off. You can fast forward, use it basically like any other YouTube video. Up here you see the different uh, documents that we're working with right now. We can click on sample documents and we get back to the earlier view. We can close the tabs and go into the other ones. Now in order to demonstrate the sharing to the system admin which we just did. Let's actually log out and log back in as the system admin. To see what that would look like when you have an item shared with you. Admin and enter. So it greets me as system admin now. Up here we have my resources as usual but we also have shared with me, which is a folder that's dynamically updated every time someone shares something with us. This test doc is what we just wrote. At this point I can just drag it over to my other resources. I can also choose to put it in whatever folder I want. It ended up right there. 
Um, along with documents and videos, we also have the concept of graphs that hopefully will come in useful f as a tool for the rule and process uh, engine uh, interface. Let's go ahead and edit this sample graph. A graph in the beginning is just a start node, but we can start dragging objects in and dropping them, and they are put into our graph like this. We can drag in documents, videos, other graphs, and even other users. And at this point, you can simply drag them in and connect them, as we're going to see in a second, but not do much more. However, this is only to demonstrate the possibilities of this user interface. Now I'm connecting nodes to each other, which would, be, which would represent one action leading to another in a rule and process engine. They have a pretty nice layout algorithm which organizes the nodes by themselves. But you also want to be able to organize them yourself. So after you've connected them like this, you can also switch back to drag and drop mode. And there we are. We can drag them around and kind of organize them as we want. At this point, if this was a real process connected to the server side, I would go over and hit begin and it would actually start this process. These modules would start computing and sending messages between each other. Right now it's just a bogus message that says that the process has begun. Well, that's it. Um, it is an idea of what the system will be able to do. And I hope that you find it interesting, intriguing, and um, I would love to hear what you actually have to think about it. So send me an email to marcus.weston at gmail.com or, uh, well, yes, and, and if you would like to try this uh, as the prototype comes out at the end of December, please contact me and I would love to have your feedback once you've played around with it. Until next time, thank you and take care.